Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ. We have our first one seed going out of the NCAA tournament. Midwest top dog Illinois going down 71-58 to Loyola Chicago. The Illini came into the game favored by seven and a half in this in-state rivalry. But as we said in the pregame, you can throw numbers, you can throw form and metrics out the window in games like these. It's all about who wants it more. The Ramblers never trailed in the game, led by nine points at halftime and as much as 14 points. They're looking to emulate their 2018 run deep into the tournament. When they went to the Final Four, they will play the winner of Oregon State versus Oklahoma State in the Sweet 16. As you see, the box score, Cam Crutwig huge for the Ramblers, 19 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, in terms of the bracket, here's a look at them advancing in the Midwest region. As mentioned, they'll play the winner of Oregon State, Oklahoma State. Now that game coming up at 9.40 p.m. this evening. And for more on this result, let's now welcome in CBS Sports College basketball analyst Matt Norlander and Chip Patterson. Matt, you guys were all on the Ramblers in the pregame. Your thoughts on the game they played here against Illinois? Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous performance by Loyola Chicago, which dominated. It kicked Illinois' rear. In fact, I was a little surprised that we didn't see Illinois and Brad Underwood make more adjustments. He didn't really decide to go small until, you know, two and a half minutes to go here. Let me just, I'm going to read you off a couple stats here to just d describe how dominant this was. Points per possession, Loyola 1.08, Illinois 0.88. Effective field goal percentage, Loyola Chicago 55%, Loyola 49%. Offensive rebound percentage for Loyola Chicago 24.1%, beating Illinois 17.2%. And then turnover percentage, Illinois coughed it up one out of every four possessions, Loyola Chicago only 16%. This is uh, continues to be an amazing story. I'm not surprised. There's a number of directions we can go with this uh, with this result here. I am going to harp on immediately the fact that Io Desumu came up small, unfortunately, for the Illini in a big spot. Uh, I did not anticipate this happening. Io Desumu has been the second best player in America this season behind Iowa's Luca Garza, and he got neutralized. And Loyola Chicago, which is a top three defensive team in America. Went and did its thing. It played its pace. Porter Moser is an amazing coach. He will have no shortage of very, very good job offers whenever Loyola Chicago season ends. But that's not the story right now. The story is they're going to the Sweet 16. I talked to Cameron Crutwig. I talked to that staff. I talked to Porter Moser all in January. Every single person said this team is better than the Final Four team. The metrics have, have bared that out in the, in the months since. And now they have provided the latest significant bracket busting bracket incinerating upset in this glorious 2021 NCAA tournament. I'm very bummed to see this Illinois team go. This Illinois team that had won 15 out of 16 coming into this game, that had two of the 10 best players in America, a first team AP All-American pick in Ayo Desumu, a second team All-American pick in Kofi Coburn. They were one of the hottest teams in the country, and we identified them after they took down Ohio State to win the Big Ten Conference Tournament as, yes, a trendy pick, but also just an exciting team to watch. Uh, young players like Andre Corbello stepping up, uh, Trent Frazier, who's been a part of that program for a while kind of a little bit of an x factor williams uh you know there were just so many pieces to this and it felt like we were getting ready for a ride so to see this illinois team uh knowing what its ceiling is to see it bow out is incredibly disappointing now i mentioned ceiling because the performance was so so far uh and so much closer to illinois floor and they just did not have it this is a team that ranks in the top 10 in both offensive and defensive efficiency coming into the game and the defensive part is what I really want to focus on because Matt's right. I mean, Loyola ranks right near the top of the entire country in defensive efficiency. They do a great job of game planning. They do a great job with their assignments. We saw Illinois confused. They were unable to get into the flow of their offense all game. But on the defensive side, there were not the adjustments and there was not the change in, in effort or scheme. It just seemed like Loyola had uh, Illinois head spinning the entire game. For Cameron Crutwig to be that good and get that many points in the paint against somebody on the inside like Kofi Coburn. Uh, I think that that is a big sign that Illinois was let down on that end of the floor. And then uh, another piece of this conversation I'm sure we'll get to will be Loyola being misseeded by the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee, that their caliber based
based on the net ranking in Ken Palm, a top 10 team in Ken Palm, that they should have been a higher seed. And this is a game we should have gotten on the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. But I will say that four out of the last six times that Illinois hit the floor, they played a top 10 Ken Palm team and they won. Illinois, even if Loyola was misseeded, should have been able to win this game. But again, uh, when we look at the ceiling and the floor, the fighting Illini, this performance was much closer to the floor. Well, the Ramblers started fast and they put the Illini down early. Cam Crutwig, as you mentioned, Chip, again, coming up big in a big moment. Matt, I just wanted to get your thoughts on Crutwig's performance. Just terrific. And, uh, and you know, he is a... Uh... He's a he's a lovable character. I you know a little chubby got the stash already balding a little bit. He's he's the best quote in college basketball by the way. I did a story back on Crutwig back in January about his uh, his musical stylings and all that. But putting all that to the side, like it's wonderful that he doesn't take himself too seriously. He really is the you know emotional centerpiece of this team. Dude is a straight up baller. Like he was able to still get a lot of what he wanted against Kofi Coburn and that Illinois defense. You saw that beautiful lob tap in with the paw to get two points the way that team plays is reflective not just of Moser's style and his coaching but of the of what Crutwig does and in fact you know he was the Crutwig was the starting center as a freshman on the final four team and he told me earlier this year that you know once I got to be a sophomore Porter brought me in his office and said listen you're a you're an amazing passing big man we love your vision you have to be able to help us take over games and get some for yourself score uh, down low don't be afraid to be a little bit shellfish and that is really one of the biggest reasons why Loyola Chicago as an offensive unit it's better on the defensive end again the third best per possession defense in all of college basketball and that is adjusted for your opponent so it's not like it's only because they played Valley no they are the third best defense in the entire country that that aside what they can do on offense running it through Crutwig they've got real athletes it's awesome and how about how about Crutwig stealing the ball away from Io with what a minute and a half to go when that possession was so critical for Illinois after after Loyola had just missed on the on the possession before that can't say enough about Crutwig. Uh, you know, Sister Jean gets a lot of the love, and rightfully so. It's the most one, famous 100-year-old, 101-year-old fan ever. But Crutwig is is the is the quotable person tied to this program to me, and we're going to get more of that heading into next week. I can't wait to get to Indianapolis and get to cover this Loyola Chicago team, which, oh by the way, we don't know who it's going to play yet. Obviously capable of getting to the Final Four again for the second time in four seasons. Yeah, uh, Cameron Crutwig only had two fouls in this game. How many opponents of Illinois saw their bigs get into foul trouble trying to limit what Kofi Coburn was able to do? And that steal on Io DeSumo, agreed, total game-changing play, one of four steals. He had four steals, he had double-digit rebounds, he had a handful of assists, he was the team's leading scorer, and he only had two personal fouls. Just rock solid through and through. The ways he, he's developed really shouldn't be all that surprising. I mean, he is the conference player of the year. Uh, it's oftentimes we do see uh, those are uh, pivotal players by the time they get to the NCAA tournament. And his role within this Loyola program has been uh, really fascinating to watch. So he is going to be someone that I do think we we dial in on. And, and Matt's done a good job of telling that story and will continue to. But again, I look at the sideline a Porter Moser had a fantastic game plan on how he was going to pick apart an Illinois team that had been pretty good uh, defensively against most of its opponents and they absolutely did not have it it is a single elimination tournament sometimes we just see teams, they just show up and they don't seem to have it. And from the moment things started, I mean, there was maybe one stretch, like five, six minutes left uh, in the first half. Illinois got a little bit of a push. And of course, near the end, you know, they were giving us a little bit of hope. But this is not the Illinois team we saw for much of the season. They didn't show up. They didn't have the goods. And Loyola is too good to expect to win with that kind of performance. Yeah, and as you said earlier, Chip, the fact that they just couldn't get things going really uh, just crippled them in this game. All right, gentlemen, good stuff. Thank you very much. Of course, we have our first number one seed out of the tournament as Loyola Chicago sends Illinois home. And not to get ahead of ourselves here, but Loyola Chicago fans may want to make note of this. The last time they beat Illinois, they ended up winning the NCAA tournament. Granted, it was back in 1963, but hey, maybe the time is right. 2021, here they are, moving on to the Sweet 16 after the result versus Illinois. So it is.
Cameron Crutwig and company moving on to the Sweet 16. Sister Jean has to be very happy with her team advancing. Not so good day for Illinois. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.